My name is Nikki Douglas. You can refer to me using any pronoun said with respect. I am an artist. I'm definitely what I think folks call a multidisciplinary or an interdisciplinary artist, which is to say that I work in a bunch of disciplines. I am both a choreographer and a writer, so playwriting and screenwriting. Any way that a story can be told, I'd like to try to tell it. Um, so if it's about telling a story only through movement and no talking, I'd like to give that a try. Or if it's about telling a story that's only through whispers or telling a story that's only jokes, only knock-knock jokes, I just, I want to try, I want to try to tell stories in a, in a number of ways. It's pretty crummy outside, it's raining a bunch, so I'm doing something that I love to do, which is work on a puzzle. And it's a Frida Kahlo puzzle, so I feel especially arty about it. I'm learning that it is really restorative or it feels really good to have quiet time. <laughs> um, and it is in my quiet time that I often write. I think some part of me has always known the art was going to be a massive part of my life. And I think that comes from me growing up watching cartoons. And that fascination turned into me like embodying that as, as a not cartoon, like as a real human. I tried to move myself and, um, yeah, I tried to move myself like cartoons would. And from that became obsessed, like absolutely obsessed with finding ways to communicate what it is I'm thinking and feeling through art. You know, like the kid in me, like my kid self is like, yeah, do it. That's what you've always wanted to do. Like, let's, let's, um, let's make the thing, let's make the thing that you were obsessed with when you were little or try to at the very least. What neighborhood do you live in? I live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, on Lenape land. And I have lived in Crown Heights for 11 years. And I love Crown Heights so much. And even though it is still, you know, the concrete jungle that New York is, there are little moments of nature um, that pop through. And also in my community, there is a little bookstore called Cafe Con Libros. And at Cafe Con Libros, they endeavor to create a vibrant community space where everyone, specifically female-identified folks, feel centered, affirmed, and celebrated. So when I shop at Cafe Con Libros, I feel like the folks who run that bookstore also believe what I believe. And that feels pretty awesome. What kind of stories do you like to tell? I am Black and I'm proudly Black. And I am trying to, I think, always um, uplift stories and the lives and lived experiences of Black folks, especially Black women and especially Black femme-bodied folks or folks who may not identify as female, per se, but who identify with um, feminine energy. I'm really interested in the ways that other people live, in, um, in other people's like life stories. I'm really interested in other places people live as well. Not just my community, not just Brooklyn, New York, um, but also how people live and have lived um, in Ghana, how people live and have lived in California, how people live and have lived um, even in, if we want to think about made up places, I'm, al I'm also interested in that. Um, so I'm deeply inspired by life um, and what comes up in life and, and, and what we notice. Um, through living. Mm -hmm.